So it's part two of my first gameplay of uh, GTA 5. In my first video I ended just as we got into this uh, mission where I'm driving a car I've just kind of stolen from uh, somebody's house. And yes, the car handling is much improved over GTA 4. The cars do actually go around corners. Um, nice that you can, you can sort of feel um, it translates over to you. The cars actually break in traction. Cars never felt like they were actually connected to the road in uh, GTA 4. And, um, when I play GTA 4, I actually spend most of the time just crashing into uh, walls. So, uh, going through. Uh, oh shit. See, there you, you That was GTA 4, and you went into that street there at that speed. Um, as soon as you enter that street, you just hit that lorry. Even though you'd already seen it three seconds prior. You, Guarantee you will hit it if you take or so. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say the handling feels realistic. Um, it kind of falls somewhere in between realistic and a game like Saints Row 3 and 4, for example. Um, There's been a lot of talk about the graphics um, and the figure I've heard um, being chucked around is 30 frames a second and to be honest I don't think it's that smooth. Um, I'm actually disappointed actually by the frame rate but yeah it's, it is a huge game with a lot going on, a lot of detail. Um, Interface wise, um, very much what you'd expect from a GTA game. You've got the uh, little tip boxes, I'd call them hints and tips, uh, you know, creeping up in the top left hand side of the screen. Uh, you've got your map to the bottom left. On the bottom right, you've got your little Thing, tell you a little bit of text telling you where you are. Um, I'm guessing when you get in and out of the cars, um, that it tells you what car it is in that same spot. Um, top right hand side, you want to level. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's supposed to be money or what. Um, It's a nice, uh, the actual um, textures on the road are really nice. A lot of detail. Uh, road ability is slowing down time when driving a car, so. Uh, do that. We'll try and park in this container here. Where it looks like a hobo has been uh, sleeping, and see if I can lose my wanted level that way. Uh, is this working? The stars are flashing. Is this working or is it not? Ok, 
Okay, so uh, not lost the police that way. So yeah, they've not quite to uh, refined that. I believe that I should have actually lost the police then hiding in that uh, container. For oh, fuck's sake, it got stuck there on some shit. Hopefully when I do lose these stars, the uh, car won't be stuck. I'll go back this way now. So the uh, police are pretty uh, hard to shake it would appear. Get out of this freaking spot. Right, so I've lost the police and now I'm freaking stuck. Man, I suck. Oh, oh, for God's sake, so, um, not having the best gameplay experience playing uh, GTA 5 so far. I'll try and sneak through here. So, clearly not accounted for um, people getting stuck. Okay, fuck's sake. Have I got a gun? I'll just blow this car up and... Um, fuck's sake. Is there a restart from last checkpoint? Replay is unavailable. Brief. Um, so I'm a bit lost here until I see. I can't fucking turn. So. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. So yes, um, not really. Impressed with this aspect of the game. A minute. Ah, oh, here we go. Can get out of here quick. Yes, there. Right. So now um, we're out of that tight spot. We've lost the police. The police, bitch. And um, we're cruising. As you can see, the map, although it's got a similar set out, familiar to uh, other GTA games. Um, it's also kind of got a, a bit of an isometric 3D effect going on. Um, not really anything major to talk about, but worth mentioning. Just slow down a bit. Um, so the game does look smoother at um, lower speeds than when you actually start travelling fast in a car. Drop the car off at Premium Deluxe Motorsport, and there we go. So we're in San Andreas now. Hey, you are on the scene. This race has enchanted me. Hey, what's up, bro? What are you calling a nigga? No, no, I'm not calling nobody a nigga. Hey, what's the fuck? <laughs> I, I mean, N word. I, I, that, that's it's quite a lot of use of the N word so right, far. Right here, he's an international businessman, a multiculturalist. That I could not have said better myself. Ah, but seriously, maybe he's not a racist. But I don't think that he is man enough for a car like this. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> this guy right here, him? Give him a high. That's a real man's car. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are right, Lamar. You get a tax rebate. I understand. Money is an issue. Right? Money isn't an issue. 
this is the best part. Watch this when you build a meeting. Go get all this more money. Watch this. Look, man, I gotta go. <laughs> hey, Simeon, I'm out. So they're seeing some nice cars, uh, nice looking cars already in the game that uh, I want to take for a spin. Unfortunately it's not letting me rob any of this car's cars. I want to get him that car, I don't like it. You know what I mean? I picked the wrong one, I wanted the Audi R8 rip off. Ah, right, rob that guy's car there, look, that looks alright. Like Mustang tired rip off. Okay, get out of car, bitch. Oh, that was my car that wanted me to get in. Oh, it really does look kind of like a Mustang but with a Dodge badge on it, so cool. So seeing cars that make you think I want to drive that is uh, an improvement over GTA 4. Obviously GTA 4 came out a long time ago but playing it recently I didn't really care what car I was in. Um, one of the best things about GTA used to be that you'd be driving along like in, in the first ever GTA game, like, oh yeah, Cozzy, look, there's a Cozzy, let's fucking get it, let's steal it. Um, but GTA 4, literally, it was just like, oh, I need a car, where's a car, anything I'll do. Um, so, you know, cars have clearly improved. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass and she'll stop fucking with that brain surgeon, the lawyer she fucking with, nigga. What? Oh. So you can get a haircut. Uh, does that mean I need to go and get one? Y'all telling me? Oh, he he. We've given on top of each other and it ain't right. Shoo! Shoo! Get on out of here! Okay, baby. I see you at the thing. You hear me? I was on the phone, boy. Don't be listening. God damn it. Wait, look at This is all still a uh, kind of cutscene here, uh, just kind of giving me a tour of the house, I guess. Right, it's, that's cool, uh, it's just, you know, seamless. And it gives you a little rundown there, and some what look like sort of achievements, objectives, sort of thing. Challenges, I guess you'd call them in other games. Um, so, right, so press the right button on the D pad to um, sleep, and then I'll create a new save game. I, I mean, I'm assuming that it auto saves like it did in GTA 4, but it's all, always nice to have more than one save just in case one gets corrupted or. There's a glitch or something like that, you never know. And he wakes up. Oh, it's got some uh, decks in the bedroom. Fortunately, it won't let me use them. So, um, yeah. Now well, we're at night. What's that? Can we get on this place here? Hey, what's going down, huh? The market, my boy. Liquidity's a bitch. Get over here so I can give you the new label list. Alright, dog. I'll be around when I get a change. So, yeah, I've got buildings that are just, you know, useless buildings. Uh, well, that's kind of to be expected. Can't have a, an interior for everything. Um, another thing I've just noticed then is it's improved with regards to people actually slow down when you run in front of them uh, rather than you know GTA 4 it was quite frustrating sometimes when I for example I was doing a mission yesterday and basically crashed a motorbike um, 
just while I was chasing someone. So I lost a little bit of health um, from falling off the motorbike, but then I got ran over. Um, or did I get hit by a train? I can't remember. But basically, that was the mission over, and it was kind of frustrating. And there was, you know, just a few times playing it um, where I just kind of unnecessarily got ran over, you know, just completely unnecessary. So uh, that's cool. So I'm going to uh, stop the camera and uh, start up part three of this uh, multi part video.